let me warn you now. Put your children up. If you're a snowflake and got soft ears, turn me off right now because you're probably not going to like what's coming out of here. Huh. And it's so bad that I had to dig out one of the big and beefy Maduros to help keep it halfway con t contained and refilled up on Don Pablo Cove. Number one rant. Why can't people read? Amazon, you're selling two six packs of American breakfast tea. Not two boxes. And not for 1995 a box. It's a six pack of tea bags in a box. So that's Six times twenty is a hundred and twenty bags for nineteen ninety five. And we ordered two six packs. So we could have twelve boxes. So my wife could have some at the home and some at her work. So what do you send me? Two boxes. Then tell me because I was misshipped and got ripped off for ten boxes, I'm supposed to go to the seller. Fine. I go to the seller and they go, no, your problem is with fulfillment in Amazon because they fulfilled the order for us and we have nothing to do with it. This has gone on now for 36 hours, back and forth and back and forth. And nobody wants to take accountability. Again, my thing is, number one, teach your fulfillment people to read. And number two, somebody step up to the damn plate and figure out how to resolve this and get me my ten boxes. Huh. <coughs> number two. Went and got the pearlies worked on yesterday at the VA. Mm, cleaned and shined up. Yeah. Awesome. No problem at the demo clinic whatsoever. Even got appointment stuff changed around so I'll actually get another cleaning appointment in six months without having the hassle of trying to call back in and wait three months after I call back in for them to even find me a slot. That part of it's fixed. Decided to drop in on prosthetics and see where my CPAP equipment was. I'm supposed to be getting monthly. You know, nose pillows, tubes, that kind of stuff. Filter. Ordered December 3rd. Actually got put into computer December 16th, 2016. Yesterday was the 7th of February. Oh, they hadn't sent it to you yet? Well, let me take care of the order now. I said, not only haven't they got it to me, but I haven't heard anything about it one way or the other. Oh, somebody quit and all these orders have been put on the side. And we're running six to nine months behind. But I can walk in and pick it up right now today and get a hassle of trying to get transportation to and from. Because, of course, you guys don't let blind guys drive. But if I come in and pick it up and go through the hassle and wait in line and everything else, I can have it today instead of waiting for you to send it to me. Right. So give me my TENS unit pads. Yep. Give me my cane. Give me, you know, I want it all now because I'm here. So you don't have to hurt yourself getting people in places and sending me this stuff. Yeah. Tell me about it. <sighs> Number three, public servants, public schools. My butt. When you can't control what's going on in the halls, the fight, the drama to the point where people are afraid to go to your school. 
and then the teachers want a pay raise when they can't even keep them in the classroom and security guards get flipped and beat up yeah there's a video of it from Betty Fairfax High School right here in Levine and you don't think we need a Betty DeVos to come in and make people have their choice of schools and go where they want their kids to go where it's safe they can actually study they don't have the drama bombers going on man I don't know about you but I've about had it it's time for the silent majority not to be silent anymore and yell and scream and tell the snowflakes get a job get off your butt if you're gonna work for Soros then say it I watched and saw there's an upcoming immigration uh, protest here in Phoenix and sure enough Fifteen dollars an hour. Come be a paid political protester. Yep, Craigslist, all over the place. At least the newspapers are smart enough not to run it, and at least the job boards aren't putting it up there. But come on, Craigslist, Craig, you started this crap. Stop it. Lock it up. I don't care. You don't need George Soros's money. If you do, you need a different line of work. The blind guy has spoken. Smoke what you like, like what you smoke, and go kick some FDA butt.